great, thanks mum. Yeah, you're gonna get yourself sorted with that homework soon, yeah? Yeah. I have one daughter and two sons. My daughter is 10 and my middle son is four. My youngest is 18 months. So when it came to thinking about e-safety, um, it was really when my daughter started to become interested in computers when she was about seven. And she started sitting next to me on the laptop and asking lots of questions about various computer um, websites that I was on. Well, my favourite thing to do are going on lots of games like Mini Clip and Club Penguin and YouTube because I like watching the funny videos. Children love surfing the internet, so parents and teachers need to be e-safety aware. And resources like Bet Award winner Know It All for Parents can be a vital help. The free CD-ROM, which can also be downloaded online, is an interactive resource with advice, information and fact sheets about e-safety for parents and young people. Before her eighth birthday, so two years ago now, we got her a computer and I put it in her, in her room. Shortly after this, Yvonne was told by her daughter's school about Know It All for Parents. After reading that, along with actually thinking it through, we brought it down um, in terms of actually fitting it into the playroom, which is where it is now, um, so that I could, not supervise, but so I could be with her when she wanted to, to go onto maybe new websites that she hadn't been on before. The first time I got on the mini clip, I showed my mum and I let her know I was going to play on it there and she said it was all right for me to have a look, but if anything strange happened, said to tell her. One of the most important parts of the resource are the smart rules. Okay. S is for safe. It, you must always keep safe on the internet. M is for meeting. It is important to remember that meeting someone you've only been in touch with online can be dangerous. A is for accepting, accepting all the rules. R is for reliable. Unfortunately, not all information you find on the internet is true, and sometimes people online may be lying about who they are. And T is for tell. You must always tell an adult if something's bothering you. First of all, they're kind of in children's sort of language, so they're easy to understand. And to be honest, they, they, they sort of make the whole confusion of the internet far simpler. The resource covers a variety of subjects, from cyberbullying to social networking, and isn't just for young children. There's a whole section for the 11 to 16s. It helps parents really get to grips with what their children are doing online and how to make sure everyone stays safe. One of the keys to this is the family agreement. So this is something that we've talked about. It's a bit like the smart rules, but expanded more into like a bit like a contract. For example, it says here, I agree to keep all personal information private. So that's a bit about the same, but we'll take that, yeah? Mm -hmm. For example, I promise to tell my, my parent if I ever feel uncomfortable about anything I see or hear, or if someone is making me feel awkward. So that's a little bit about the tell. I was quite paranoid as a parent that she shouldn't go on lots and lots of websites, but over time with education and, and going through it together, we actually became a lot more aware together in terms of what she, she can and can't do. But actually there's a whole world of education and learning out there. And, you know, they, they should be able to get access to that with, with under some sort of safe guidelines.